here at Andra with Sam. Uh, now, Sam, we all know the traditional focus pulling methods, and sometimes they can be a little bit limiting when you want to get really creative. You guys have kind of put that to the side and said we're going to come up with a system that uh, just revolutionizes the way the focus could be pulled and be thought of. And so why don't you take us through your system and tell us what it can do. Okay, so what we've decided to do is take the guesswork out of some of the really hard focus pulls by saying, well, what's the, what's the data that I want? The data that I want is distance data from the camera, from the film focal plane. So we're using a motion capture system, which is a magnetic system, um, and using that system and small sensors, we can actually very accurately calculate the data between the camera and the sensor. So it's like, okay, it's not guesswork anymore, it's just math. And um, then to give you the control that you need so that it's not like a machine pulling focus, we've integrated this with an iPad app where you can basically just switch between any focal point you want, whether it's moving or stationary. So we're hoping that we can just sort of get into, focus pulling is just a creative thing, it's not a technical challenge. So, now there's, there's a lot of things, obviously with, with the, um, with being able to track the position, there, positions aren't always f fixed, you know, when, when a person's moving around, there's a lot of variables that go into that, yeah, your system is able to somehow intuitively interact with that, but still allow for manual control when somebody wants to go fully, fully manual. How, how does that process work? Yeah, so basically the way the process works is that you can, you can enter fixed focal points in your system, so that any fixed focal point in the room, you can say, okay, I want to go to this point, I want to go to that point. Or you can go to what we're calling a sensor node, which is to say a performer moving person with a sensor on them. So within that, we also have, so right now, if you look at the screen, you can see, you know, we have the control of actually moving between those points at any speed that we want. So that gives you your manual control between those points. Or of course, if you really just want to go old school, we have the ability, you can hit the slate button, and then you just got control over the lens, the way you would normally have control over the lens. So it's, it's, a, it's a system that has a tremendous amount of automation, but it's also, of course, a system that still allows you to do everything manually the way you've traditionally done it. If you get the hand unit that will be coming out uh, in early 2015, we think, then you can just pull focus normally, or you can take advantage of all the automated features, which take the guesswork out of the hard stuff. Now, when, when showcasing some of the, the really, really critical focus, uh, we've seen when, when an object moves or a person moves that it's able to recognize that spatial geometry. It isn't just a fixed point of distance, it's also recognizing the rotation and orientation in that as well. Yeah, actually the orientation is actually key to making the system work. Because if you put a sensor, say in this case, Mel has a sensor on the back of her neck here, and you want the focus point to be here. And so, if she's going to turn sideways, then you still want the focus point to be here. And if you've seen some of our footage online, there's a shot where somebody puts up a gun, and the focus is right on the tip of the gun. And so, what we're able to do is we're able to get very accurately, relative to the sensor, the orientation data as well. So that if somebody's turning around or moving in any direction, that focus point still follows that exact point in space. It doesn't just sort of roughly get it, it exactly gets it. Right. Now, how does this set up? How can somebody be up and running in, in their location for, for being able to operate with this? Well, the, the, the basic setup is you need, uh, we're recommending that you have two of these sources which give you a magnetic field and you put them on a boom pole. So you set up on the boom pole, you put down a C-stand off the side or ideally over the top of the performers. You then mount a sensor to the performer. Um, we have, we have a special kind of double-sided tape that we use that sticks it usually to the skin very easily. And, um, and then all you have to do then is calibrate the position of that um, focus point relative to that sensor, which is very quick to do. So what we do is we, use, we can use another sensor to calibrate the offset for the first sensor. So right now the sensor's on the back of Mel's neck, but we want the position to be her eye. So if Mel holds that to her eye, then what we would do in here is in our node setup here, we would say, okay, so this is, this is Mel, and this is the assigned sensor, and then this is the calibration sensor here, F3, and then we just hit this little button here, and the data starts streaming live, and then we save that data, and then we actually have, if we take the sensor down, we've now saved that exact offset. You can also use that calibration sensor to create fixed nodes in the room. So you don't have to use a tape measure to measure points in the room anymore. You can say, oh, I want that lampshade, or I want that table. And 
the advantage there is that they're not just measured distances from the camera which are changing, they're fixed points in the room. So if you have a sensor on your camera and your camera starts to move, any fixed point is also going to stay in focus. It doesn't have to have a sensor in it if it's not moving. Now, you're also showcasing that you could you know, basically have a point for each eye then as well, so that if the person rotates, it can Yeah, with them. that's one of the things we noticed straight away. We, we, she's always doing her right eye here, and then when she turns around the other way, you'll notice her left eye is out of focus because we're just sort of, you know, if you want to average it, you would actually put it in the middle of the face. But yeah, just by default, the system very easily can differentiate between left eye, right eye, earrings. If you have earrings, you can do that. Like, you can get that precise in the pull, and all you got to do is just tap your button to shift between those. So you're basically doing focus marks that move with, with the person. Yeah, basically they're focus marks or points in space and if your camera's moving you don't care and or they're moving objects and so you don't have to think about distance anymore. You just think about what do I want and when do I want it and how fast do I want to get there. So this system looks amazing. What about availability? Where where was pricing going to be? Um, okay, so um, where you can you can get in the queue to to be one of the first 250 to get the system. Now we're hoping to ship the first 250 systems in November, and um, pricing for a startup system. All the pricing's online at Andrew.com, but pricing for a startup system is going to be about 12,750, and um, it's an expandable system, so the great thing is you can start at one size and just expand as you as you want to, so you can get comfortable with the system and say, okay, yeah, I like it, um, and want to do more with the system. Everything we're doing here today, we're doing with the startup system, so there's not it's not like you have to spend huge money to do what we're doing here today. This is the 12750 system right here. All right, for the boom pole system, how is this set up and what kind of range do you have? Okay, so you basically just take your boom pole, you set it to a fixed length, you measure that distance and you enter it into your software, we're recommending about seven or eight feet, and then you put it on a C-stand, ideally up, you know, about eight or nine feet above the performing area, and um, each one of these gives you about a, a, a 16 foot diameter, so the two together overlap, you know, give you an area which is about equivalent to the size of this booth right now. So. All right, Sam, can you take us through what uh, what components are on the camera that live there to make everything operate? Okay, so this is the motor controller. This is sort of the brains of the unit. It's a, it's actually uh, not just a, it's not just a physics system. It is actually a fairly powerful computer that's doing a lot of calculations. And it's doing a lot of work for you. As you can probably see here, there's a distance readout of whatever is your active sensor. So in a sense that you, know, you can program it at any number of points and it'll always give you the distance relative to the camera of that point and all I have to do is switch the button here to get whichever distance readout I want at any given time. So, you know, that Zeiss logo is 65 feet away. Um, and this here is the, the motion capture unit. This is what's communicating with the motion capture system. Um, this can be wireless or wired. It's currently wired. It doesn't have to be on the camera. It can be somewhere else in the set. It can be at Video Village, for example, which is probably the most likely place for it to be. Um, and then that drives, basically that just drives your, your focus system, pulls the data through and does the magic. Um, now, this is obviously for focus, the main reason for this is focus. What if somebody wanted to have just a full um, uh, iris and zoom control? Uh, would there be expandability for this to be able to operate it with one unit? Well, it is currently a focus iris zoom system. Okay. So um, when it ships, you'll be able to set your, if you have a, a, an iris and a zoom motor, you'll be able to set those with that. Um, and if you want to use it just as a standard focus iris zoom system, then you'll want to get the hand unit, which will be coming out early 2015. And then you don't have to use any of the mocap features. It'll just function like your regular fit system. Now, curious, would you be able to use any of the automated uh, features across some of those other, uh, either the iris and zoom, so say you had a, a point on a window and you panned to the window that it, it would know to iris down at that point? It's coming. <laughs> very good. Everybody wants more. It's sure. coming. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, now, obviously, this is a cabled system with the sensors. Do they? Is there any plans for possibility of wireless on that? This is this is wireless. It's only wired today. Okay, very good. Yeah. It's actually fully wireless. Oh, very cool. cool. Well, thanks a ton for your time, Sam. Thanks. Appreciate it. Special thanks to our sponsors for making our NAB coverage possible.